Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today we are going to be jumping back into Unranked. I know you guys really do love that content, so of course we're going to be bringing it back. Small twist, couldn't find as big of a one as before, but you know we're going to try and bring a little bit of action to you again. So what's the difference for today? Well, today we are going to be doing Unranked and we're gonna be using our editor's tag this time. Wanted to give a bit of a shout out to him. We're gonna give a shout out to Aiden Neri with doing this. And will there be any extra effects of this? Will people fear him online? Will he end up editing in explosions for the combos because secretly it's him all along and I'm just doing all this as a ruse and it's getting spliced together? We're not sure. But what we are sure of is we're gonna do our best to bring you guys informative and educational games that you're gonna enjoy and hopefully learn something from, and that's my hope. So uh, we're not gonna mess around anymore. We're gonna get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Good double down tilt is going to be making sure that I uh, have to watch out and respect the first one. You saw, you saw the ring. We saw he jumped. He didn't notice that. Otherwise, he probably would have side beat earlier. Oops. Bit of a tech error, but that is okay. As you can see, as long as we are in a good space and we hold down, we can perfectly react to whatever comes afterward. Uh, Marth on the edge or just in a difficult situation is going to be very difficult to uh, recover from it. Marth... Jumping forward lag is going to be very risky, which is why I often tell Marth players uh, not to jump into their opponent. Good, good dive B. He hadn't been doing that for much of the whole time, so we are going to be taking a bit of punishment for that. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and spike him. We're going to get him out of there because, again, the back airs, um, you have to make sure you watch out for them. They are quite laggy, and the edge guards need to be very precise. Marth is in a lot of lag after he swings, so you have to be very careful about that. We are going to switch colors so things are a little bit less confusing. We both switch to green, so things continue to be quite confusing for ourselves and for our opponent. He might switch out because he doesn't want to deal with that. I'm going to go back to blue. We're going to see if we do a double switch. We do do a double switch. I will not switch this time if he doesn't switch. And so we're going to now see... <coughs> I'll do it this time. That is perfectly fine because I think it's very funny. I'm going to go ahead and go back into it one more time. We both stay this time. As it turns out, we're both on the same wavelength in a lot of ways. And I'm going to stay again because this is... This cannot... There's no way he would absolutely stay this many times in a row. It is a dangerous game of RPS we are playing. If we do get the same color again, the sun might explode. We do get different colors this time. Good job to my opponent for uh, the adaptation. Let's get back into the game. I've seen multiple downsets, so I do know to jump over that this time. Oh, didn't quite get my move out in time. That's okay. When Marth is cornered, he doesn't want to full hop a lot of the time. That put him in a bad situation. So forward smash is going to cover pretty much everything, as you can see there. Another tech error coming out. And again, back air when opponent is in the air. Quite a free punish. Just put out the back air. Nothing much they, not much they can do, even as Marth. Again, power shield just... Kind of a good option, didn't see him getting it a lot before. And he kind of wanted to call me out there, didn't think he'd be able to get it. Called out that DI. Wanted to go straight to edge, but was a little bit too low. Kind of just a bit of an anti recovery. We, are, we do see that this player is probably a bit anti. And we are seeing that this person did attack when we came in a little bit closer, so we're going to take advantage of that. It's going to be pretty much straight forward, standard, uh, zero to death there. We are going to be able to uh, jump over laser. Falco has to be very conscious of his laser heights and react to Marth's heights when he's going. If he does not, he will be getting punished just like this. You can pivot this until about this percent, then you can just start switching to up tilts, up airs. Falco can be SDIing out of this right now. We did see his jump. We saw the ring. So we know we are going to be able to take that stock. We're not seeing much SDI come out from this player. It would make the chain grab and the punishes. Uh, much harder. Again, the tech skill coming out for this player is a bit of an issue. But I am missing um, a re-grab that you can get at 10% after the throw. I'm um, just not able to quite get it. That's okay. We're going to pick it up anyway. And so about this percent, we do see the up tilt start out again. Grab the edge. Invincibility working for us. If he up beat, we just go out and back here. So he is doing the lasers now, getting good pressure. As we can see, he did actually adapt very well to... Uh, <laughs> 
I did imagine that player was a bit frustrated before then, uh, but that is okay. I wanted to spend a little more time explaining what was going on. So this player um, was probably a bit frustrated by some of the chain grabs coming out and me getting um, death touches on him. So what he did was he shot a few more lasers before coming in. I did make a bit of a mistake uh, running off stage. As we saw the other Marth do where he wanted to go a bit farther before he counterattacked, the Falco jumped at the perfect timing to come in and hit my dare I, and my up B, and I wasn't expecting it, so I got hit. It would not tech, and I died. The Falco was very pleased with himself and uh, left. So thank you so much for being our first DC of the day, Poppy Fuego. All right, we're playing against Rise. Found the dream, smaller stage. Not gonna be able to dash back so much. What do we know? We know Mart's coming in with an aerial. That's gonna put him in a bit of lag. We saw him on the back foot for a lot of time up until now. That's gonna be a safe jump to edge. We don't challenge that as we saw in the other match. Side B there is going to be punished. He's too close. Back air again. Got to know to stay around the back air range. Go low, farther away, play a mix up, and hope for the best. Good air dodge. Kind of looking like Peach out there just air dodging out of punishes. Misses L cancel. We are going to take a punish accordingly. And that's going to be two back airs. So again, you don't want to go high against Marth. You can open yourself up to a lot of back airs. Especially if you can get, land low, you can get a more punish. Get a harder punish after that. I will say thank you, Rise, for staying in the game after that. I did imagine you were kind of frustrated after. I was able to get some great quick early kills, and I did reversal you that one stock. GG's well played. Just, just goes to show you the power of uh, um, your tech power of uh, knowing your flow chart for the edge guard and things like that for the matchup because if he did know the flow chart for the edge guard he wouldn't have gotten reversal and he would be able to kill me when he did get me off the stage earlier anyway gg's well played Give we got coming in with a samus this is gonna this is the best stage for falco samus we had starting off with a runoff laser very good however that up there does make me think this person might not be the most proficient they are trying to go for a bit of stuff that doesn't combo what do we know about falco samus we know we need to space outside of our f tilt range with our moves we also know we need to go through missiles we also know we need to do up air down we need to do down down there we also know that we need to not be greedy right there and this person had the right idea um but not able to quite get the punish we're back here out we were unable to do that we did not scare the samus into doing a down beat it's gonna be good to know for later this person is just going for it and we're gonna go ahead and punish some samus not having the best mobility getting down or sideways in the other why do you think it seems smashers are so bad at handling losing i don't think it's a smasher specific thing i think it like this game is just rough because you can always like if you get hit you're like oh i'm frustrated and then you you get your DI tripped up and you get frustrated over that. And then maybe you don't hit them with your invincibility and then they hit you back while you're trying to hit them from your invincibility. So it's like a constant cycle of being frustrated. It is a melee can be a very brutal, brutal game in that sort of way. Right, it's interesting. Yoshi's story, again, this is a good stage for Fox in this matchup if he's willing to play aggressively. You're good. I did try to wave dash, try and cheese him. He is going to punish me appropriately. Well played. We're going to delay, we're going to get the punish, we're going to shine so he can momentum stack with our down air. If you hit him someone fast enough, you will get the continuous hit on them. And I should not have DI'd that way. That was a bad position for me to DI like that. I did think that was not going to happen, but uh, that's fine. All right, so what do we know about this guy? We know that he likes attacking quickly off platforms, running around sometimes. Um, there's an interception. He did know that he was going to kind of condition with that. I'm just going to go ahead and go for a cheeky get up attack. We also know he likes DI'ing to platforms. You know he likes teching in place, wants to get back in. I thought he was going to up smash again. That is okay. Ah, he knew! He knew I was going to shine down be him and that and shine up be him, and that is okay. Um, I did think this player was probably doing up smashes a bit as a frustrated thing, but um, we also knew that he was mixing up. He was waiting for me to do lasers and everything to start with his up smash. It was actually a good adaptation and reaction from him. The text in place, we were starting to call out, and we were calling out um, some more of his recovery habits. We know he liked to side B, and we were trying to punish him for that a little bit more, um, but we were not able to get the full kill at the end. We were not able to get our full YouTube clip, but we were able to get a DC, so thanks you. Thank you so much, Rice for that gift. Great timing on the air dodge, but we're going to still put him in a bad spot. I was a little bit early. I thought he might choose a different angle. I could have reacted there, but I did not. Misses L cancel. That's why we were able to get the punish. And I should fight forward smash slightly earlier. I would have gotten a tipper, but that is okay. And he was slightly too high, so we were able to get the uh, down tilt, but that is all right. He's going to put out a constant hitbox there. It was a back here this time instead of in there. Went a little bit farther, so I went... Uh, went forward and got off stage today again he tried to get his uh he tried to get his shield drop but i double hit and i moved it off we're gonna tech and we're gonna get out now he techs away good and he pulls back which is also a good mix up he did move early so we're gonna go ahead and miss our tech he really likes moving over there he likes getting to the center of the stage very common for a lot of players to want to get to center of stage when he techs so we have been calling that out a little bit A bit of mis misplay on my part. Marth not having constant hitboxes means I need to time things a little bit better. 
But that's okay. We're gonna we still have long range, and then Shieldbreaker is gonna be able to push the Falco out far enough to get the kill. And we're just gonna move out of the range of his shine, get the punish. Ooh, good DI back on. Phantom hit, that's okay. We're just gonna throw him off the stage. And we are standing at the right spot so we would hit him if he did sweet spot there. There is a way for Falco to get around that. So as you can see, just put out an early thing. Falco didn't want to attack early. He was uh, being a little more patient perhaps from the Marth games. So he wants to go high. He's not going to be able to go high against Fox. Marth can cover it, but not as well as Fox can. Constant hitboxes and then shine out of it. going to be very powerful. I could have gotten him again there. Had some early kills, had some early gims, put some pressure on him, but we can did, we did see not only did he not quit out, which is an impressive feat in itself apparently, but he also um, was able to adapt, able to get some pressure, able to get some hits, and um, you know, we were also able to uh, see how he adapted to the edge guard situation, the gim situation over time. We did see that he favored the get up attack and then we started punishing him for that on the last stop. GG's well played FF.